Item number SCP-5770 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-5770 Manifestations are to be minimally monitored and any witnesses are to be subjected to amnestization. All notes obtained from the Red Parade event are to be analyzed. Description SCP-5770 is a worldwide phenomenon involving the manifestation of SCP-5771, a collective designation for Red Pandas involved in the vicinity of individuals involved in creating works of literary fiction and non-fiction in the form of prose, poetry, or plays. So far, 100 2,200 individuals have been recorded to experience SCP-5770, which primarily manifested only when they are asleep or in a state of extreme food and exhaustion. They remain unconscious during the entirety of the event. Waking up after the event, they experience high levels of happiness and determination to continue writing. Pan analysis indicates that SCP-5770 has a likelier chance of manifesting if the author has mediocre sales or reception of articles and publications, suffers from depression, midlife crises, and an inferiority complex about their works, is constantly overtaken by other authors, particularly in communities or groups where rankings are held in high regard, has taken several workshops, classes, and courses on writing, but with no major success in actual publications, has small social networks with other authors, and is generally ignored in communities or groups, online or offline, where cliques of authors have formed. During an SCP-5770 manifestation, a Red Parade event will commence, with the following series of activities occurring. The room where the individual is located will enlarge after a brief flash of light. The sound of a news jingle is heard, with subjects describing them as similar to a mix of electronic music and the rhythm of the folk songs of the author's nationality. 20 to 150 SCP-5771 instances, each of which has a color engraved with the word Avakika. Note, GOI 503, a journalistic organization focused on large-scale stunts, see SCP-5630 and SCP-5631 for further details. Manifest in lines of five, they often then use clothing resembling uniforms of the writers, field reporters, and broadcasters of known news outlets, such as ABS-CBN, Reuters, the Agent France Press, and Sky News. They loudly chant the phrase, Dream on! Ten minutes after the manifestation, an array of East Asian pagodas, Western-inspired constructions, for example, columns, and carriages will manifest, each of which has SCP-5771 instances driving and riding to them. Film cameras and pen sculptures decorate them. They are described by witnesses as a prestige of cultural symbols from different eras. Images of animals such as a raven, a mockingbird, a cuckoo, pigs in suits, and a whale with a black hide patch and hook replacing the left flipper up here. They are carried by the SCP-5771 instances. Castles and churches then appear in the background, with 10 meter tall paper sculptures of red panda heads adorning their main spires or towers. Newspapers dated from 1800 to 2025 covered the floor of the room. Several 2 meter raven-like entities then arrived and settle on the windows of the individual's room. They are mechanical and composed of clockwork. A one meter tall SCP-5771 instance dressed in a black and red suit or white changshang. Note a traditional Chinese clothing for males. A cane and a monocle will disembark from one of the avian entities, 
bow and approach the individual. It is either carrying a camera or an audio recorder. The instance will then gift a small pin on the table or at the side of the individual. Afterward, the instance will clap its paws and growl, and the parade stops. After 30 seconds, the pandas demanifest. The room then reverts to its original size. The pen given by the instance is not anomalous, although it is wrapped in a handwritten note with no discernible origin. A sample is provided below. A pen and a panda. Red panda riders climbing our own grey mountains. The pen's wolves then howl. As other pandas skitter, climb higher mountains, we remain with tails. Though our mountains may still be a small bamboo shoot, at least they're our own. Soon our claws, our pens, will rise our own mountains, gleaming with our pride. Update. A minor information breach occurred via a digital publication titled To Let Freedom Ring, published to a writing site called the Bureau of Epistemological Protection. The author's discussion page post indicated a partial recognition of SCP-5770. It currently has a like-dislike ratio of 57 to 15. To the red panda with the cane, I hope that you swing by again. It's been a lot of fun writing since that time, even with the side contest and all. Paddle on, Mr. Panpen.